Welcome back to Fast Freddy RC, and today we're going to do an unboxing video of the 114th scale Tamiya Globeliner. Now, I'm even more excited about this than probably normal because this Globeliner is only one of four that has come into the country this year. Obviously with COVID and, and shipping issues uh, that's affecting everyone around the world, uh, it's tougher and tougher to get any of the uh, RC kits in now. So the idea that this is only one of four that's come into the country, uh, it just kind of blows my mind. So I'm very thankful to have this. So we're gonna do an unboxing video of it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I've already taken the plastic off. Uh, just to make things easier. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, open the kit. Oh, awesome. Uh, this is very cool. Um, I know there's a lot of people that don't like the blister pack, but this takes me back um, as a kid because, you know, with my Blackfoot, um, it was in a, blast, a blister pack. And I love being able to see the parts and how it was all listed. So it's so cool to see that in this model, um, they've actually kept the blister pack design. Uh, so obviously here, um, it, these here are the frame, your metal frame for the chassis. Let's put that back there for now. Maybe I can, I'll have to remove that. But here, uh, you can see this is the sun visor, that piece right in there. Uh, the grill, uh, we've got uh, the gas tanker, uh, tanks for the um, end caps. You can see there's a ladder. Um, oh, and there's, there's the wiper, the wipers uh, on that end. On the other side, you can see we've got some of the, the tail, the uh, exhaust pipes. Uh, so that's very cool. On this one, looks like these are just mainly frame pieces for it. You can see there's some suspension uh, pieces in there as well. Uh, so that's very cool. And again, we've got the gas tanks. Look a bit more chrome pieces and then gas tanks again. So this this package is definitely all the, the gas tanks. Then with this one, this bag has your transmission uh, housing as well as your um, as well as the axles, the rear the rear axles for the for the truck. This here is your electronics platform for the cab. So it's also where, see the right here, you're gonna have the front seats and I'm gonna get a driver figure as well for it. Um, and then this is where you would put your 7.2 volt battery. Um, I don't know if you can get a different one. Maybe you can get a bigger size just for more power, but obviously it's still got to fit in here. Um, so that's very cool. And then here, uh, as you can see, there's the seats. You've got your steering wheel, uh, and then you've got your, your shifter uh, and steering column right here. Uh, more seats, and then that's the, the back end of the, of, the, of the cab. And then uh, this part, this looks like it's for your coupler. Uh, and then, well, there's some other parts in there. I'm not really sure what they are yet, that's okay. And then we have, ah, uh, well, you've got your mud, your, your mud flaps. This is your uh, rear, actually, I'm not sure. That might be the front, actually. Uh, that probably is your front where for your, no, that's probably the back. That's gotta be the back for um, the back end of the truck because the front had the headlight somewhere else. So that's for your tail lights. Then you've got this one, which, is for the, the very front of the bumper. And then you've got for your license plates um, that hang a little lower than the bumper. So that's cool. And again, that's probably for the, that's a, the on off switch um, 
for that. There's gonna be some pieces on here I'm probably gonna change because I do want to add some more of the electronics. Um, awesome. So, that is so cool. So there's your cab. Oh, love it. You know, it went, as, a, as a kid, um, used to travel a lot down the, the five, still, still do. Um, and for me, seeing the big rigs on the road was a, was a big thing. I uh, just enjoyed watching them. And, you know, there's a lot of the, this style cab that don't have them on the road anymore. They've, they've all gone, a lot of them, like there's no new version of this. Most of them have the, what is it, the cab over design. There, there aren't a lot of the cab over designs anymore. Um, so I think it's just very cool to be able to build this now. So that's that one. Um, we've got, we've already looked at that for suspension. I mean, for your, uh, well, let's see if we can get into here. Yeah, so I just think this is so cool to see uh, the blister pack again. So these are metal plated. So these are your exhaust covers, uh, which is cool. Your gear shafts, your ring gears, the pinion gear, um, and then you've got your leaf springs, uh, front axle, and then your motor. This bring back memories, because like I said, the blister pack and the motor was always there. And then you've got your damper cylinders, which is interesting. That's sort of a, uh, a pinky uh, look to those ones, um, which is different. So let's take a look inside the box. Um, it looks like we can maybe, oh, it's taped down. So we'll just take a look here. All right, so let's open this up. Okay, so in here, these are um, more of the parts that are uh, for the, uh, that sit in the middle of the frames. So that's that. This one is your, the windshields uh, and all of the glass for the cab. This one here, ah, so these are transmission pieces. So for the three speed transmission, uh, these are the pieces that move around inside, um, you know, letting you go from gears one, two, and three. So that's awesome. Um, not quite sure what those are at the moment, but that's okay. Then you have a bag of the lights. So you got your tail lights and your amber lights and the, the headlights. So that's gonna be very cool to put together. Finishing touches, of course. And then this one here are your front wheels, um, chrome plated. And then these ones here are your rear wheels. Again, they're chrome plated. Um, and I'm going to do some interesting things with this one because I got to tell you, I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Western Sharpies RC um, because he has some amazing things that you can do um, or amazing parts for upgrading your kits. Uh, one of them is he, he's built uh, pieces for the to cover the nuts uh, on your wheels so that it looks more like, you know, realistic. You're not seeing the nuts. So I'll be reaching out to him. Uh, Thomas, you'll be hearing from me on that one. So it, it's very cool to see that. And then uh, you've got this one here, uh, which is obviously your coupler. Um, and then these are some more pieces, which at the moment, I'm not entirely sure what they're for, but that's okay. Uh, and last in this box, we have the gears. So these are the gears that are gonna fit in that transmission housing that I was showing you earlier. So I'll put all these ones back. So cool to see. And let's put the glove liner back. The blister pack back, I should say. All right, now let's look at this final box, which again, now you can see all the rubber, but let's, let's just open this up. More stuff taped down. Oop. Don't want to rip the box too much. So of course in this one, 
um, you're gonna get all of the parts. So obviously we have all of the, the tires. Uh, awesome. Nice rubber, realistic tread, love it. So they're all there. And then they're okay, so there's, there's parts bag D. Here we have some of the metal parts. I believe these uh, parts are for the transmission uh, because that's, uh, it's all metal inside the transmission from what I remember from the Cascadia. Uh, then we have in here, uh, we've got the spring, some springs, and I don't know what really is in the blue bag. Oh, it's mesh. It's some sort of mesh, so I don't know. We'll, uh, well, we'll, see, it. we'll see what that is when I start building it. Uh, this one here, you can see there are, I believe they're going to be again uh, parts for the transmission um, and probably some of the, uh, the frame pieces as well, uh, just holding the whole thing together as well. Those pieces here, the bigger ones right there, I can already tell, those are for the suspension. I think they're for the front suspension, um, so that's very cool. Uh, then you've got all of these and again got parts bag A. Uh, this one here, we've got a spacer unit. Uh, the grease, your wrench, and then all of the pieces for the uh, control arms and for your steering, etc., that attach to the uh, steering servos, etc. This one here, Well, I have no idea, actually. I don't recognize those pieces, but I think they're, again, more for the suspension and, the, and what's in it. Uh, then we've got another bag of bolts, nuts. Uh, it looks like these are also parts that are gonna fit onto the transmission uh, for your drive shafts that'll go from the front, from the transmission to the wheels. Uh, and then, of course, you've got the hubs in there for uh, the pieces that are gonna keep the wheels on the, uh, on these things right here, actually, just to keep the wheels nice and nice and tight. So they go on there, so that's cool. Uh, this one here, uh, I'm actually not really sure what those poles are for. Um, I know those are for the suspension, so those are for your springs on the back um, that are gonna be, uh, that you end up having to build uh, for the leaf springs, so that's cool. Uh, they give you a full, uh, package of liquid thread lock. Then, obviously, we got another parts bag B. Yeah, tons of screws. This is going to take a while to build, I got to tell you. Then we've got these pieces again are for the transmission. So you saw the big uh, black pieces for the transmission housing. Those are the metal parts that are going to be housed inside of it. So um, that's all part of that. Then we've got, uh, well, these are the brass bushings that uh, they've given you for the kit, but I will repla be replacing them with uh, full ball bearings. Um, I just, I've said this before, but I, when you're building a kit like this, I just think it's wise to replace everything with bearings. Uh, the kit's gonna last a lot longer because um, these do create wear over time. Um, so, but I mean, look how many of them are. So, I, you know, I got to order some, some bearings for that. Then we've got uh, some, uh, well, it's your little screw, the, uh, what do they call them? Um, oh, I can't think of the name of them right now, but they're the little screws that you screw into like the drive shafts to keep them tight. Um, and depending on what it is, that might be where you'll use liquid thread lock. So. Um, that's all part of the gearing stuff, so that's cool. And then yet another bag of screws, which now this is parts bag F. And some more parts there. Uh, don't know what they're for at this point, but there's more there. Then you've got uh, washers, some of the smaller screws, they're, they're all there. And that is now parts bag E. And then, again, another huge bag of screws, uh, washers, uh, E-clips. I hate E-clips. <laughs> I 
uh, they're they're not fun to put on but there's tons of them in this kit I can see uh, but that's okay we'll make it work and then that's parts bag C and the final bag are your gears so these are all the gears that are inside the transmission it might be uh, gears for the uh, differentials in the back end which I think that's what those are I think those are the gears for the back end um, uh, for your axles so that's very cool um, and as we looked in these before and I don't think there's any th any more uh, one two no that that is it so and then you've got your tires so that is everything that is included in the globe liner kit um, and of course you've got these uh, parts as well now the funny thing is uh, you know you've got I mean there's your there's your stickers I forgot about those <clears throat> so there's the stickers for the globe liner which I will be using I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to paint this um, the actual yellow or whether I'm gonna go for something different. I haven't decided whether I'll do it to kit specifications yet, but um, we'll, we'll see, I'm not there yet. We'll, um, I'll decide later. And then of course, there is your globe liner manual. Um, and as I've said before, um, Tamiya just does an amazing job of putting these instruction manuals together because you know exactly uh, what part to use uh, simply by just putting the screw or, or on the little pieces right here for example you put your the screw on top of that you know full well you've got the exact one you need uh, so they do a really really good job of lining everything up so if you're kind of a novice builder and you're not really sure if you can do this um, they make it easier for you. I will say that when you're building one of these kits, this is not really for novices. If you're a novice, start with one of the other kits, like a buggy or a grasshopper, for example, as a starter kit. These are more for people that really know what they're doing and enjoy the build process because there's a lot to build. And you can see right there, there's the transmission that I was talking about. So the, these were those metal parts that I was showing earlier. And then all of those gears have to be built for the three-speed three transmission which is gonna require a four channel radio, so you've got one to use for that. But point is, um, it's all here and it's, it's, it's gonna take me a long time to build, I can tell, um, but that's okay. So there we have the 114th scale uh, Tamiya Globe Liner. Can't wait to get onto this project, but uh, as I said, there is one other project coming up first and it is a trailer um, and it's it's close, um, it's been on order for a while, but it's supposed to show up. I will be building that first before I build the Globe Liner. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. So if you liked what you saw, please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.